special shout out to my patrons. Thanks for supporting me. If you want to join up, I'll leave a link in the description. What's up, guys? All right, so today we're doing something a little different because physical media releases have been a little bit slow for me anyway. There hasn't been much I wanted to buy, so I don't have any home video reviews, really. So I thought for today we would do something a little different and review a VHS tape. Might be fun. I don't know. We'll see. This is for, of course, Terror Tract from 2000. This is a movie that I have talked about a couple of times before. I mentioned it once in my five movies that need a Blu-ray release video and also my 90s horror anthology video. And it's a movie I kind of champion a little bit because nobody ever talks about it. It's kind of trapped on VHS and DVD. It has like a double feature DVD release with Cherry Falls. That's because it released in the year 2000 on the USA Network around Halloween as like a Halloween special double feature with Cherry Falls. So it kind of shares that release date with a very popular movie. And this one has kind of fallen under the radar. The easiest way to watch it is to find, last I checked anyway, a really crappy rip on YouTube. Other than that, you can seek out that double feature DVD. But the easiest way to get it, honestly, is on VHS. You can still find these pretty cheap here and there if you have a VCR. But yeah, this is from the year 2000. It's a horror anthology. It has, of course, John Ritter. It also has Brian Cranston. A couple of character actors that you'll see in there are familiar faces. It also has a fun cameo from Buff Bagwell, which 100% dates it to that year 2000 era. USA Network, WWF, and like I said a while ago, it premiered around Halloween with Cherry Falls. It has great performances by Cranston and Ritter. I mean, it has perfect casting in that regard. These guys are doing what they do. John Ritter especially is the standout. He's kind of in the wraparound segments as a realtor. And Brian Cranston is in the middle segment where he fights a monkey who is basically haunting his house. You also have the first segment, which is kind of like a spooky ghost story deal about a wife who's being haunted by her husband, and she's dealing with his friend who is a cop, who she believes is suspicious of her, and the last segment, which is like a slasher segment, featuring a killer who wears a granny mask, and a kid who believes he's psychically linked to the killer and has visions of the murders all strong segments so basically you have the wraparound which is just entertaining as hell the spooky ghost story killer animal segment and the slasher segment so everything you need to make a really solid anthology and this one it's actually in my opinion theater worthy the budget is top notch the cast is great it's really well made there are vibes here of tales from the crypt it feels really 90s even though it was released in the year 2000 i would almost bet it was shot earlier and sat on a shelf for a while maybe because it definitely feels like something that was made in like 94 95 it also has a lot of creep show vibes i'm pretty sure the filmmakers here loved creep show there are instances of creep show lighting if you know what i'm saying when something impactful happens the lighting will turn red or blue in the first segment the ghost story segment there's actually a straight up homage i would say to the ted dancing segment in creep show the standout segment of course is the cranston one where he fights a monkey i mean brian cranston fighting a monkey that should sell you on itself and this whole thing kind of plays out like a comedy of errors it escalates really quickly he basically goes from being aggravated that his daughter found a monkey and wants to keep it as a pet to setting traps and walking around his house with a shotgun looking for the thing it's top-notch stuff and really close to that is the wrap around with ritter he's playing the classic you know sincere straight man who's slowly becoming unhinged that's a role he's really good at 
It's very similar to the role of the robot dad he played in Buffy, but a little more sincere, a little less crazy, but just that kind of like wholesome guy who slowly unravels as the movie goes on. So that's great stuff. And the ending to this movie is amazing. It ties everything together in an incredibly fun and unique way. I can't recommend this movie enough. I've loved this movie forever and I never hear anybody talk about it. I wish it would get like a Blu-ray release. This is something that I could see Scream Factory doing. This is right there with like Dr. Giggles as being like a silly horror comedy with like a surprisingly high production value and great cast. I would just love to see it get a nice new release, not only so it would get more attention, but so I can upgrade it from the VHS. For me, this is an easy four star. I watch this pretty regularly. It's great to watch around Halloween. It's not like a Halloween movie or anything, but just that anthology vibe. And you know, I'd say if you're a movie buff, you need to see it just for the fact that Brian Cranston and John Ritter have huge roles in it, and there's some great performances from them. And since this is kind of like one of my home video reviews, I will review the VHS tape release too. The cover art, man, I mean, it's okay. It's not like fantastic, but it's pretty cool. The video and sound quality are crisp, clear, 4.3 aspect ratio, 480 interlaced, high fidelity sound. So for a VHS tape, you can't go wrong. This is from USA Home Entertainment. So one of the rare releases from their distribution line. And as far as special features, you know, VHS tapes are kind of limited to the trailers. And this one had some interesting trailers. It's got a trailer for Cherry Falls. It also has a trailer for Nurse Betty and one for a film called Boniqua's Bond, which featured roles from Big Pun, Red Man, Method Man, and a bunch of other rappers. So you know that's a gem. And it also had a short advertisement for a website called Video ETA, which I looked up and does still actually exist. It's kind of like a dated version of Blu-ray.com where they just kind of show you what's coming out on home video. Very dated site, not something I'm gonna use, but it was kind of cool to see that they're still around. It also had an advertisement for a knockoff of movie phone, where it seemed like you call the 900 number and they tell you what releases are going to video stores at the time. So pretty cool trailers. If I had to give this release a rating, I would say four stars. I saw a cool trailer for Cherry Falls, which was fun. I saw a trailer for Boniqua's Bond, which I'm not going to sit here and say I'm gonna go seek out, but I mean, if I ran into it on Tubi or something, I might throw it on. And a couple of nostalgic advertisements for early internet weird attempts at companies that were providing information about home video releases. So all pretty fun. All in all, I love this VHS tape. I love the movie. I wish the movie would get a better release. I think that more people should go seek it out because it's a great little hidden gem from the late 90s, early 2000s. I would lump it in with early 90s stuff more so than late 90s for sure. As you know, on this channel, I love that kind of stuff. And if you like it, I definitely recommend it. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time.